Hello, this is uh, Dave Herman, and thanks for tuning in. My nickname is Daz in the art world. It is 3.47 in Olympia, Washington on 10-31-2017, uh, Halloween Day in the uh, afternoon. So I'm going to uh, work on my drawing. If you can see that, the uh, elderly old snow monkey. Uh, I'm going to work on whatever I feel like and start to get this thing to get fine-tuned. Okay, so right now I want to kind of just formulate the head and everything into the right shape and, and see what I can do. Okay, so right now I'm going to get into a brownish tone and I'm going to kind of just work up here. Uh, I'm going to enlarge this a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to work, work around here. So this edge. Uh, it needs to be closed in with hair. I'm going to do that. I'm going to come in here. Uh, what am I in? Colored pencil. Huh? I'm going to be in brush. Brush. Yes. And uh, there we go. A little more. Okay. Color stretch is okay, density of paint okay, amount of paint. Let's go a little less amount of paint. Color stretch, okay. So I want to kind of curve this head first. Just kind of shape this in. Maybe a little closer. Still keeping the watercolor look. And I'm just going to shape it and then put hair in front of it again. So, kind of thinking that it comes across like, like that, maybe even rounder. Like so. Maybe trim this in a skosh. Just take this down a little bit on the brow. And then I'm going to work some of the hair on the right hand side. So uh, I'm going to go a little darker for, for this and then I'm going to weave light stuff in and dark stuff in. So come around a little more with the darker like this and come down a little bit into his beard like that. And taper that just a skosh, a little bit to the left. Okay. And maybe soften the way it comes in. Not so abrupt. Just a little bit of a rounding. And darker into here. And now I'm going to put some hair. Uh, it's still, there's kind of like, I think a darker edge would be better. And then the hair. So I'm going to come around just a little darker edge in my watercolor feel to this. And still darker. You can see this on the monitor getting darker and darker there as I think it out what looks best. And the hairline. To accentuate the head and uh, create the fuzzy hair. So that's pretty good. And then um, I'm going to come around up here 
can accentuate here a little bit before I add the hair. So you got to be careful about these edges. And that's pretty cool. So now I want a little bit of the dark in here. And not so dark, but some here. Okay. All right. Now well, let's go to a lighter shade. And let's add some squiggling in. Let's kind of come across. Uh, maybe a little bit lighter there. So. Certain it gets closer to the head here is lighter than it gets, I mean, darker than it gets lighter as it comes out. This kinky feel. A lot of density, a lot of matteness. Now here's stuff to do, it's a stroke at a time and all that. Well, I'm working on it here. So I have beard in. And then uh, with some of that here, uh, just starting like somewhere on the head. And then kind of a couple areas goes in. Yeah, kind of a, this eye is still not exactly the way I want it. Uh, this should be more here. He's, he's older, so he is a little wackier, but <laughs> we need to fix that up. So let's do that. Let's do that while we're thinking about it. Let's raise this. So where the tear duct is should be kind of more up here I think I'm going to raise that tear duct just like that and I'm going to shape it like this because I think I meant to do this, but never got around to thinking about it at some point when I worked on it. Yes, had all the good intentions, but didn't execute on them. You know, you gotta gotta remember things and uh, pay attention to what you're doing for sure. So now we're getting we're on the right track here. I'm not gonna chastise myself or nothing, but should have paid more attention. There we go. Easy enough to do. Easy enough. Kind of get the tear duck thing glob there. You know, it's he, he's older and he's staring, but I don't want him to be like aggressive. I want him to be kind of like lost in a good way. You know, like he's recalling maybe his youth. <laughs> he's pondering the infinite. He's not uh, mentally ill or nothing. He's not lost. He's just, I don't know how to put that, but he's thinking about life. And I don't want him to appear crazy or senile or anything like that. I want him to be friendly, 
but all. So, trying to achieve that. Smear this around a little bit. And I uh, want to accent that. So, let's see, we're in running water, brush size, amount of paint. Uh, I want more of the paint color. There we go. And then I want to lighten that paint a little bit. You know, these eyes, they take. Eyes are not easy because for me, uh, I'm trying to put personality in them. Because personality goes a long way. And it's a. These, this is a pretty detailed project. Still want the old man in there. here around like that Maybe a little orange would be good in there I think so let's get a little warmth just a touch bringing it forward and then uh, the eyelid has a thickness of its own. So kind of want to show the volume of that, um, its thickness. So let's see what we can do. If it was coming across here, and then uh, here some thickness and then the inside thickness like right there yeah just a little bit of the inside pink meat of the eyelid too much luckily we can go back oh Man, my hand sometimes just jumps all over on this stupid board. You have to excuse me. It's frustrating because I'm going to get a new table and set this up better. I'm, I'm, I'm not quite properly set up yet. That's what you want. A little bit of the inside of the muscle of the eyelid. But, oh, this stuff's tricky. It's very tricky. Now let's lighten this up a little. And we gotta do it right in the right spots. pink in the front of that eye. This is tricky. And so you keep playing with it till you're happy with it. That's what I do. If I'm not happy, I keep working it. I keep figuring out what's wrong. I'm trying to. And everybody's going to know how to do this but me. <laughs> yeah, I'm working on it. Yeah, 
See, now he's not so aggressive in his thinking. And he's old and wise. And so that's all things to cope with. All right, so now it's, let's, uh, let's get some more of this hair fuzz in here. So, uh, Trying to give a look. A look, 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 looky. Okay. I'm going to say this before I forget. So, file, save as. I'm going to start dating these and trying to figure out a proper way to la label them because they're getting crazy, the names. So, uh, this is my old monkey, old snow monkey. On 1031 uh, painting details. That's good enough. I'm going to put that on my desktop for now. And I'm going to save that as a clip file, which opens and closes it in this program. Okay? And it's saving it right now. I'm going to have a sip of water. Water done drinking and the save is done. Okay, let's go back to this hair. And I'll go back and forth to that eye. Because see that little line like that and stuff like that? When I actually view this as its actual size, which would be view, you know, fit to screen. Let's see, view, uh, what's fit to navigator mean? I don't know. No, nothing. Let's uh, zoom in. That's all. There we go. Zoom out, zoom in. That's not kind of fun. All right. He's flying around. Get over here, monkey. Let's hit the zoom in again. And sometimes I do it with the scroll on my wheel. Let's see what it does. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm working right there. I like the look. It's getting better with the eyes. I think about them. And I'm also getting his hair shaped. Uh, nice and... It's a little too groomed. I want it more frazzled. He's in a uh, hot spring. Okay. So let's let's start some frazzling and some highlighting uh, as a hot spring guy. Kind of like that. make it lighter up here like lights passing through and more matted more you know monkey dreads <laughs> he's, he's a wild monkey and I'm gonna actually try and take this and print it to a canvas 
Oh, it's been such a weekend, or it's a week, that's right, it's a week. I get the weekend coming, and it's just, I'm out of it this week, I don't know. I'm just taking on a lot of stuff to do. It's been fun, really good fun. Uh, changing my life a lot, always. Um, and, you know... It's for some people that can be very unsettling. It's been unsettling for me for sure in these last few years. And uh, I keep waking up and saying, Today I'm going to do this. Today I'm going to do this. Tomorrow I'm going to do this. Today I'm going to do this. So I set all these little goals to keep me going. And uh, one of them is to, of course, get very, very good at this digital art so see I have this highlight I'm actually doing every single hair you know every just kind of a matted fuzziness here uh, and I'll probably introduce a background and then I'll do some snow, I don't know, because he's a snow monkey kind of guy. So you can vary your pressure and then that gets brighter or not, see. Starting out with this, this little line, blunt the head edge to be separate and in the foreground. So you got to kind of brighten that. And we also want it to mesh into, they're very like hard skin uh, around the eyes, very formed uh, hard, very hard, like that. And then uh, just keep working him, and then we'll put some pink into his head to ground it. Right now, looks kind of cut out there, but I want it separate from the hair. So let me just jump to the pink of that. We just put in kind of a shade of uh, like an orange and then a pink. So if I do some orange up here, still keeping the head separate, but the color isn't so stark change. And uh, and mix in some pink with that orange. Warm it up a little. This has been a tricky spot for me. I know sometimes people just do it real easy and everything comes. Uh, they've got like a pitted kind of face. And... A lot of character trying to get that character but trying not to sacrifice uh, just trying not to mess it up see so there's lots of detail on the face little bumpy crusty things character built up over the years and I'm getting more and more comfortable with this program jumping in and out of these spaces like so I kind of have that edge that separates the skull from the hair in the foreground, but don't want to mess up the hair and everything. You know, it's a tricky thing. There's a lot of hard lines. Like if I go down to here and do some harsh line work too, like he, there's cracks in a monkey's face. You know, he's got all these fissures and stuff. These are fine end details, but if I throw some of that in there, right now it might be pertinent. There's kind of the way it, it goes into their head. Like that. Some more detail around here on the left side. Oh, such a good painting here. Uh, it's, it's in an evolution that just takes a while, you know? You can't be rushed. 
I keep telling myself that. Just don't rush. Hang in there. Build it slowly. Don't want to be obvious about stuff. And yet, it's got to be stuff in there. And, uh, you know, the more you, the more you uh, use references on the Internet, the more you see, and this is a fact as far as I'm concerned, just how retouched they are. <laughs> because as you're doing it, you're saying, well, that looks... Wow, that's a lot like what I just, wow, that's retouched, or, and it's true, it's true, there, there's way more retouched than we think. When we try and copy them, you begin to subtly see those retouched areas. Now, even though the nose is narrower and hairy, it still goes into a face. It has to fit into a face. The bones have to fit, and it try not to be too obvious about it all. But it's it's got to have more aging, and. Uh, part of it so yeah my aging monkey just kind of work on different sections let the old guy age Uh, very important to to be patient. Very important. Keep the eye in a socket to get rid of black that doesn't belong. I, I almost do no black. And to be honest, I'm still getting rid of it. Oh, yeah. And I'm still trying to get that feel. Because then when I hit the final lighting in the end and everything, it's going to be so cool. But yeah, let's, let's get some of this mouth... Uh, detail a little bit dark in here just you know if I want it to be on that edge I'll highlight it and then I'm gonna kind of softly work it like that and another minute and uh, it's going to be 30 minutes, so that'll be a wrap. I'm going to go a little darker in his nostril. Uh, all these things are subtle changes. But it's amazing just what something like this, how it will change a whole picture. It will. It will change the whole picture. And, uh, just, just a, a touch of darkness, you know, just a touch suggested, just a little bit here and a little bit there. It's, it's always those subtle changes, just way up in here go black, way up in there. 
and then save. And call it a wrap, uh, and I'll keep painting. Uh, yeah. Desktop. Uh, and so if the I'll go to my there we go desktop and save. Can't take a chance to lose this. Can't take the chance. Okay. Got a save going. Bye, everyone.